Sometimes I stumble into a story about toys or something toy adjacent that feels too unbelievable. Mighty Ducks is one of those. Too weird. Not believable. Disney creates a movie about a coach struggling with sobriety while having to lead a team called the Mighty Ducks to victory, then creates an NHL franchise with the same name and branding, then goes on to make two sequels while the real team has losing seasons throughout most of the 1990s, and then goes on to make an animated sci-fi TV show about humanoid ducks from the planet Puck World featuring a lead character who's based on the NHL Mighty Ducks mascot? What the duck? What kind of conspiracy is this? But you know, it's actually not. This is the one-of-a-kind history of Mighty Ducks and their action figures. The Mighty Ducks film franchise began in 1992, while the NHL franchise was beginning in 1993. This was when Kenner was manufacturing the starting lineup figures based on pretty much every sport, including hockey. Unfortunately, no starting lineup Coach Bombay figure. In fact, no action figures were made on the film franchise, to my childhood dismay. Charlie Conway wasn't enough for Mattel. It would take an animated sci-fi show about humanoid ducks from the planet Puck World to get their attention. Animated Mighty Duck Show was planned for fall 1996, which gave Mattel time to develop and plan their toy line, first shown at Toy Fair. The toy line might have been a strategic move for Mattel. Mattel was without superheroes. It didn't have turtles to rely upon. Their strategy? Action figures of animated cartoons. Street Sharks. Nickelodeon's Ah Real Monsters. Captain Simeon and the Space Monkeys, Extreme Dinosaurs, and the Mighty Ducks. Mighty Ducks! Wildwing skates in and joins Grin and Duke LaRange as they stop the evil Lord Dragana from destroying the world! Go Mighty Ducks! Go! Wildwing fires his puck! Duke throws his grappling hook and swings into action! Grin skates in with a super crunch! Go Ducks Rock! The new Mighty Ducks figures and Duck Cycle sold separately. Duck Cycle coming soon. Mighty Ducks TV series only lasted for one season, with more action figures than episodes. Series 1 was released when Mighty Ducks was airing on Disney's ABC, including the backbone of the show. Wild Wing, Duke LaRange, Grin, Nosedive, Mallory, and villain Drag Anus. Drag Anus. Dragonus. Nope, sorry. Dragonus. Dragonus. <clears throat> None of the figures came wearing traditional hockey garb, and in fact, they all look quite different from their earlier designs. Wildwing was loosely based on the mascot of the real-life Anaheim Mighty Ducks. Series 1's packaging included a special message to decode. Let's see what it says. Oh boy. Along with the action figures, vehicle box sets, a Toy Fair exclusive, and many figures. The Duck Cycle, the Arrow Wing, and the Turbo Wing would get released throughout the Mighty Ducks run at retail, all inspired by the show. For the completionists, many figures and singles and a box set. For the super completionists, a Toy Fair 1 of 1000 Wild Wing. This was the only way to acquire Tanya, at any size. Before diving into Series 2, ducks could also be found as food. I mean, uh, well, fast food. Toys. Fast food toys. Nothing was a hit in the 1990s unless it had McDonald's toys. Series 2 looked every bit as futuristic as the first, with all five ducks returning with new figure sculpts and accessories. And a new foe, Evil Siege. The duck cycle would be re-released and packed with a special nosedive figure. 
Series 3 included the Ducks, finally in something that resembles hockey attire. I would put these guys up against anyone, including an evil chameleon, who blends right in with the team. And he included face flip in action. Where have we seen that before? The packaging shows the 96-97 season on the back. Imagine the 96 animated ducks versus the 96 Anaheim ducks. And while we're at it, some ducks. Series 4 and Series 5 were shown at Toy Fair 1997 and would be the final assortments. Series 4 was a smaller set of four, with the ducks as a squad of spies. Another special box set, Blade Raider. This vehicle set included Wild Wing from the Hockey Patrol set, but with what may have been a Ducks Street Hockey Away jersey? Series 5's theme, Street Patrol, would see four of the Ducks, Wild Wing, Duke LaRange, Nosedive, and Grin, and a new villain, Evil Hunter Drone. They now have cool nicknames like Puckzuka. Series 5 was the final assortment, which should be expected with the end of the TV series. These figures were released several months after the show's final episode aired in January 1997. 29 unique figures in total. Quite frankly, it's a surprise that the figures lasted as long as they did without a plan for new episodes. and equally surprising that one of the main characters was overlooked for the toys. Some were on clearance at KB all the way into the early 2000s, but now it's almost impossible to find these figures in their packaging. Do you need to collect these today? That's up to you. Modern toys should be in the penalty box when compared to Mattel's Mighty Ducks of 1996. Look at these accessories. Look at how low the price point was, even for the time. If someone did a rehash line of this in 2023, they would cost $40 a piece at retail, have half the accessories, and probably wouldn't have cool toy commercials made like these. If you're craving Ducks merchandise and toys beyond the animated show, McFarlane's sports picks had their run throughout the 2000s, and the polarizing Funko Pop Finals created a handful of characters from the film franchise. Hey, that does it for this one. We don't have a Patreon, so if you want to support us, the best way is to grab yourself a deal from one of our shops. You can also find everything from this video by searching Mighty Ducks in our action figure database at figurecollections.com. I'll throw a link in the description. And you can follow us here.